Hello to all the cool junk journal kids out there. Um, today, as the title says, we are going to be making fabric envelopes. Um, pretty much the same thing we did yesterday, which are book pages that are shaped like an envelope that I have covered in fabric. So they're super soft, super cute. I still want to sew on them, but I think they're going to be super adorable. And if you guys want to learn more junk journal tips and tricks, I do post a video almost every single day. So please do subscribe. We just hit 6,000 uh, subscribers. So I'm really excited about that. Super, super happy about it. And we are going to be, um, we're going to be doing a giveaway probably in the next couple days. I'm going to be posting up the video for that so you guys can join up. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'm Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net. And here we go. We're making fabric envelopes. So what we have are, again, I made envelopes, I don't know, maybe about three weeks ago now. It's been a while. And these are basically two envelopes. My nail is broken. These are two, not two envelopes. These are two pieces of book paper. And I punched them to be an envelope with my... Oh, I'm trying to get it. Ugh. I used my We Are Memory Keepers mini envelope punch bar to make these little envelopes. They worked out perfectly. And so now we are going to cover them in fabric, and they're going to look really, really cute. They're really nice and soft. And I am going to sew around. Hey, Sylvia, I am going to sew around everything so it makes them look even more special <laughs> even more embellished you all know i love to super embellish on everything okay so what we have here is a piece of heat and bond and this is a piece of parchment paper underneath that i have my ironing board um so we're gonna go ahead and uh bond together the heat and bond to the paper that we're using hello amy thanks for joining me today so we're gonna put the piece uh the the piece that we want to glue uh, that we want to have glue on and we want to just put it on the shiny part of the heat and bond and then let's cut this heat and bond because it's a little bit too big and it does leave glue so let's heat it up now like that and I've been told I'm supposed to actually leave it on and not move it around very much. Hey, Pixie Bee, thank you, thank you so much. I'm super excited. Um, just going on to the next goal now, right? But I'm so excited everybody's here. And I want to thank everybody for joining me and all the cool kids here every single night. Hey, Neko, we are just making fabric-covered envelopes, as I showed off already. I think I have glue in my hair. Yeah, I do. Oh, my God, I have this was in my hair. <laughs> So these are the envelopes that we're making today. I have I did previously make the envelopes about a week ago. And they are super soft and they feel so cute. So I'm really excited about these. I'm going to sew on them and they're going to look adorable. So I just can't wait. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Hi, Dakota. Okay, so now we got the glue heated. So it's going to have to cool down. Woo! It's cooling down already so hot okay so the next one we're gonna do I have all different fabrics today because I got these bed sheets washed <laughs> so that's exciting we're gonna make a couple of them so that way I can over embellish them the way I want to and everything Let's see I should be going live for about an hour tonight and we could probably start making junk journals probably tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. Let me see. And I need to make the, the giveaway video soon, of course. That's got to come up. Let me see here. Oh, my gosh. I've been thinking about this all day. Like, I wanted to come home and do my tags. I was hanging out with my mom. But I really wanted to come home and work on my tags. I'm terrible. <laughs> and then when I got home, I'm like, what if I do that to my envelopes? Right? I think I think that would work. Okay. So here we have the envelope. And now 
we've covered it in the heat and bond. So now it's got excess glue on it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's got excess glue that we got to cut off. And let's do that. Let me drop it on this fabric so I can see this glue because it's kind of hard to see. And you don't want to leave this glue on your table, trust me. Or your ironing board. It'll just get on whatever it is that you're working on at the time. Okay. Get off, get off. Hello, Lori. Thanks for joining us. I'm doing good. How's everybody else doing? Is everybody else having a good day? I hope y'all are having a good day. It's a goal reaching type of day. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, guys. Finally reached it. <laughs> so we'll do a nice giveaway soon. Um, maybe I'll make a couple of junk journals to give away. That would be fun. Because I don't think I have any right now to give away. I don't think any of them. No. <laughs> I either sold them or already gave them away. So we'll have to make some to celebrate all the cool kids that join me. Okay, so. so we got the envelope, right? And now it's covered in glue. Yep, now it's covered in glue. We took off all the excess. It's not hard to do, but it is tedious. But better than dealing with seeping glue and Mod Podge and all that. Thank you, Arsology. Hello, Kelly. How are you? Okay, we're going to put this. Wait, I'm going to use this one instead. It doesn't matter in what order I do it. But <laughs> I just want to use it on this. And when I showed these to my grandma, I, she's like, well, how big is your bed? I'm like, oh, no, grandma, I'm not going to use these bed sheets because she... She insisted that she helped me fold them because I was just going to put them in a big old ball into my car after I washed them at my mom's house. And my grandma was like, well, how big is your bed? Like, well, you bought all these weird size sheets. And she's like, how big is your bed? And I kept telling her, like, no, it's just for fabric. Like, I, I bought them to use for projects. And she kept asking me, how big is your bed? And I'm like, grandma, they're not for my bed. They're for fabric. <laughs> And then she's like, oh, okay. And she's like, well, she's like, but this is faded. I'm like, yeah, it's it's a look. And she's like, oh, okay. I'm like, it's a look I'm going for. She's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Grandma was funny. A journal with the beautiful papers you've been making stuff with would be great. Yes. And I did not make the journal that I want. I need to make some other journal pages. Ah, oh, it never ends, you guys. The cycle never ends. <laughs> okay. So that should have done the trick. Yep. I think the, the, the lighter and thinner the fabric is for these is the better. Um, I think. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> But I'm still touching it. Okay, that that glued. That didn't glue, and this needs to glue. Let's see. Okay. So now that we've fused those together, now we can cut these out. You wish you had a sewing machine? You need to get one, girl. I love my sewing machine. Like, I honestly never really cared about sewing machines. I never did. Um, and I also never cared about fabric, and now here I am. I'm a totally different person. <laughs> I can't imagine making my junk journals now without my sewing machine. Okay, so 
Here we go. We're just going to cut out the fabric. Really not hard to do. Here we go. I also thought about making these envelopes and making the inside with um, pattern paper. I thought that would be a pretty look. But we'll see. Maybe another day. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying. Oh, and uh, uh, what's her name? Irina. <laughs> Crafter Irina said she was going to give a gift to for my giveaway. So do keep an eye out for that video. So exciting. And journals have me a reason to dig through my soap my machine again. It feels great, right? Kelly says, I bought two old pillowcases today. And my husband was like, really? You really want them? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I bet they were pretty. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Okay, and now I already have it folded. You know what? I should clip this close so I can get used to being in that shape. In a minute. I'm going to close it so that way it gets used to being in that shape. This one's pretty soft already. I love Arena. Does anybody hand stitch? I've seen a lot of people do some fancy hand stitching. I used to love to do hand stitching and embroidery when I was like in middle school. Okay. I'm just kind of scoring it off the table with my little boning knife. Ugh, trying to get the little edges crisp. And this one looks really cute. The flower is a little bit big. That's okay. It looks pretty cute. Now, let's fold it. I was thinking about hand stitching on one of my next journals. Hey! Girl on the Ridge. All the cool channels are here, I'm telling you. Okay, there we go. Just like that. I love Irina too. I always go back and watch her videos. Ooh, look at that. So we got two of these little envelopes done. So let's do another one. Got another envelope here ready to go. And fold it like this now. And let's get this fabric on here. How cute is this fabric, you guys? This is... This one, and this one was just fabric. I didn't, this was not um, a blanket or anything. This was just fabric on here. So I think this is the nicest one. I really like it. Daisy, how are your hands doing? They're good. They're good. I've been resting them. And these shorter videos are good. And I'm good. But And thank you for asking, Lori. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Is this big enough? Is this big enough? No, not in some parts. I cut it all messed up. Oh, it is big enough if I 
move it a certain way. It's big enough. Okay, cool. Oh, really? This is one of the ones that talks about the... Oh, God. I'm not going to use that one. Okay. I've been having to check what these freaking books were saying because when I made them, I just didn't know that they talked about this stuff. I don't want that one either. I forgot. Okay, this one should be good. <laughs> this one should be good. Okay, so let's glue this here. Let's get this ready to be glued. It's going to have to be a little bit weird here on the paper, but it's okay. Okay, so let's get this glue out and um let's see what everybody else is saying everybody's saying hi oh and it moved all right moved just a tiny bit well i will be sewing it so i guess it'll be okay but all right that's what somebody said they said to put a piece of parchment so maybe it doesn't move that way because i'm not moving it so i don't know why it does move so I got sandwiched, I have it sandwiched in between parchment paper now. So that's what it's doing. I am ironing on heat and bond. It's the stuff called heat and bond. You see how it's shiny and then on this side it's not. So that's glue on the paper and you iron it down. So basically think of this as like a Xyron machine. I don't know if you guys remember Xyron machines. How basically it just like puts glue on the back of whatever you run through it. So basically this is like like that technique. Not exactly, but if you get the idea of the kind of glue coverage you get, it's hot. <laughs> I should definitely wait, but I don't want to wait. Now I'm folding it because it leaves glue behind and I don't want to get glue on my next envelope. Here it is. I gotta let it cool down just a little bit. And then let's see what fabric we're gonna use. Oh yeah, we said this one. Okay. So. Oh yes, Laurie. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that was you. <coughs> Laurie's on my design team. She makes awesome, awesome projects. She's always having new ideas. She loves lace. That girl loves her lace, man. Okay, so let's get this extra glue off of here. I could cut it, but I just discovered that. Nope, that doesn't do the same thing. I thought it did the same thing, but it doesn't. Okay, now I know. Again, let me cut off the glue over here on this fabric so that way I can just chuck it off. Just kind of shake the glue off. Okay. Just glue off here. Can we use Fabri-Tac? I've never tried to use Fabri-Tac myself, but the problem with this is I don't know if it seeps through the fabric. Because any sort of liquid glue, if you add too much, it'll seep. But you should be able to. I've also seen people just Mod Podge fabric onto paper. Again, you will get that problem with seepage. And it might not be as straight and flat, maybe. I don't know. if the I don't know if that glue would warp this paper. You know what I mean? Or make it like... Uh, What's it called? Wrinkled? I've never used Fabri-Tac in my life. I've always heard about it, but I never ended up getting it myself. And I know it's at Walmart. <laughs> okay. So, this is the... You see how shiny that paper is? That's the glue. 
Well, if you can spread it out thin, then it should be able to work if it doesn't wrinkle your paper. Okay, so here we go. That's the glue, the shiny part, because this is just regular book paper. So that shiny glue, that's the glue. And we are going to glue it now down to the fabric. And I'm using, um, of course, I'm using the fabric, the bright side outside. And we're going to glue it down to the dull side of the fabric. So, let's get my other piece of parchment paper. And let's heat it up. Let me see how these are doing. So I can fight the urge of moving the iron around. You could also use double-sided tape if you wanted to. I don't know if that would work the same way, Lori. That sounds... Hey, Crafty Witch Journals. Welcome. I don't know if double-sided tape would have the same effect of basically bonding a whole thing. I don't know. I mean, I've used double-sided tape before, and I don't think it could work. I don't think that would work. I tried double-sided tape, but the fabric didn't stick. Yeah, I didn't think it would have. It's not strong enough for fabric. At least I wouldn't think. But what do I know? I've never done that. Let's see, it needs a little bit more. I think my I think my iron keeps turning off. Like I think the light keeps coming on and off. Oh my gosh. Uh Patricia's here. Tori's here. Welcome, welcome, cool kids. We just reached six thousand cool kids, so I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing a giveaway. So look out for that one. That's gonna be exciting. It's as soon as I come up with some junk journals <laughs> to give away. I usually like to celebrate and give away the number of junk journals. Like, if I hit, when I hit 5,000, I gave away five journals. Like that. That's what I mean. Okay, we gotta let the glue dry. Or not dry, get cool, cool down, I should say. And I'm too eager, so I'm trying to make it cool down even faster. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Cool down now. Hurry up. I don't have your time. <laughs> okay, so now I have scrap fabric, which I'm not used to having at all. <laughs> okay, now well, let's cut this out. Now, this is not using a die cut. If you had a die cut for envelopes, that would be great. Um,. But I do not. So I used, if you're not, if you didn't see, I was using, I didn't make them during this video, but I made these like about a, like three weeks ago. And I used this mini envelope punch by We Are Memory Makers. Thank you, Luz. And you're new. Welcome to the Cool Kids. Um, if you're new and you haven't joined uh, my Facebook group, please make sure that you join my Facebook group. I post on there and so do all the other cool kids. Um, we post inspirations and we also post, um, like if you guys get inspired by what I do here on my channel, people will post on there afterwards, all the cool stuff that they made. So let me give you guys the link and you guys are more than welcome to join. I also post on there. Um, I usually go live Monday through Friday at 9 PM Pacific standard time, but I do, uh, go live during the day sometimes. Um, and when I do, I post it on there. Uh, so I almost bought another iron at Goodwill today to use for crafts. After I thought about it, I realized I don't even iron clothes. See what I'm saying? I don't have an iron for crafts and an iron for clothes. I just have an iron for crafts. I don't need to iron my t-shirts. <laughs> I'm such a simple person. I do not have any clothes. That pro I probably don't have any clothes that need to be ironed. <laughs> right? <laughs> Okay, here we go. 
You do want to make sure and get the fabric cut out where it's supposed to be. Otherwise, envelopes don't really close the way they're supposed to, I've come to find. <laughs> this is my first time doing this, so... Apparently, now I just want to cover everything in heat and bond and fabric. Apparently, I'm on a heat and bond kick right now. <laughs> And I'm just excited to have all this pretty fabric, honestly. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm just excited about the fabric. <laughs> my mom used to iron everything, even socks, not me. Oh, my gosh. Well, your mama had a lot of love. <laughs> she had a lot of love to give. <laughs> Nothing like warm socks, though. <laughs> Props to your mom. She knows what's good. Warm socks are the best. <laughs> and I think I will fray this one a little bit. I'm just going to pull off the strings that are there. If they come out, because it, it is kind of a cute look. But most of it is glued down. <laughs> it's not going to fray. Okay. So here's that. And let me, um, I need to fold this. So give me one second. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm just folding it along the creases really well. This flex fold it down. It looks super cute. Oh my god. Look at that. How cute is that fabric, you guys? Really, really light. You could almost see the, the print through the, the fabric. Love it, you guys. I freaking love it. This one didn't fold down exactly right, though. This one kind of went off a little bit. I wish I had a die of this. I mean, I don't, I don't have any die cuts of envelopes, though. I don't. Okay, so this is that envelope. We are going to sew them. Let me get this clipped together here. Hi, Natalie. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to the cool kids. My kids get warm blankets right out the dryer as a treat. That's the best. <laughs> That's also very nice. <laughs> okay, so I am just clipping them together just so they stay in shape. They need to get trained to be in this new shape that they're in. Okay. So we got two more to make. So, there's no glue on here anyways. So, let's get another envelope. Is it hard to fold? No, I just used my um, boning folder and I needed the table. This is too soft. So, that's why I did it off camera. Just, just right off. It's not hard. I just really need them to... um. I just really need them to hold their shape like this because I'm also going to glue them at the very end. So I'm just like forcing them to be okay with this shape. <laughs> Pretty much that's all I'm doing It's just forcing them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, so first we need the heat and bond. Again, shiny side to the part that you want to add glue to. It's going to be missing a little bit of here on the side, so that's okay because we're going to sew it. So here we go. We're going to heat that on there. I bet you can iron again a little bit to hold its shape. Oh, my God. Reality. Trace it for your scan and cut and cut it, Daisy. Um, 
thinking would that work um i could do that but it wouldn't like what i want to do is i want to have a little square prepared of fabric fabric tack and paper and then dye it and then score it and then use the die cut on it because when you use the die cut machines like the the Sizzix and and the Big Kick, they uh they also do they also do a little folding notches for you like a folding line also. Does anyone have a six Sizzix? I have a Sizzix. I just don't have a die. I just don't have an envelope die really. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Sandy. That's a freaking good idea though. Uh. Who said that I should do that? Who said that I should do that? Uh, who said to iron it? Pixie B. Props, girl. Props. You're right. You are absolutely right. I could just iron it. <laughs> Why don't I just iron it? That would be... That's only a good idea. It's a little extra, but you know what? I'm just that type of extra. <laughs> I'm that type of extra. I've never, I've never had to iron something so hard. <laughs> Perfect idea, though. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Revelation. Revelation. You just iron the envelope, <laughs> and, it, and then it does hold its shape. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Pixie B. <laughs> yep. And then it holds its shape. And I'm just going to be super extra and just leave it like this. That probably did the trick. Genius. Genius. <laughs> Game changer. Okay, so let's see how we want to do this. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. And I forgot. I do have glue on the bottom of this, so I really need to use this parchment paper. <laughs> I don't want to transfer anything. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> okay, so let's do this right here. What, boo boo? What's up, boo boo? Where's your toy, boo boo? That's what you want? Okay, hang on. Okay, let's go throw your toy, boy. I think I've seen it. There it is. Okay, boo boo. You want me to throw your toy? You want me to throw your toy, boo boo? Go get it. Oh my god, that boy is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, now I got a little handle. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, now, this has glue on it now. That's my little cat. He will not come on camera. I don't think I can get him on camera. He went to go get his toy. I usually have him on camera. Like, I usually have him at the end of my videos when I actually film a video. <laughs> put on here if I can if he comes back I'll try and put him on the table <laughs> he's my little black cat his name is Ambu but I call him boo boo <laughs> everybody calls him boo boo my little kitty boy he's just such a playful little cat he might as well be a dog because he likes to play fetch with his toy and I didn't even know cats like to play fetch. Did you guys know cats like to play fetch? I didn't know that. So when I saw, when I heard him, 
He had his toy in his mouth and he would run around the house crying and crying and crying and crying and crying. And I'm like, why is he crying? Like, I, I've had a cat before, but they didn't do that. So I was like, why is he crying? Why is he crying? And I, I literally Googled it. Why is my cat running around with his toy crying? <laughs> I literally had to Google that. And some web page said that, oh, some cats like to play fetch and you should throw his toy. And I'm like, what? So I throw his toy and that boy brings it back to me. And then I throw his toy and that boy brings it back to me. And, and now it's a whole thing. I'll, he'll literally do that every day, all day. I sit down and he's back. And I sit down and he's back. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Not funny when I'm trying to work, but I indulge him. <laughs> Sometimes he won't even come back until like 10 minutes later. So... I'm like, I'll just throw it for him because who knows when he'll be back. <laughs> okay, so now we have the heat and bond. Again, the shiny part. Would it be easier to press first and then cut the piece with the fabric attached? Oh. Would it be easier to press first and then cut the piece with the fabric attached? <sighs> Let me see. Would it be easier to press for... I'm not understanding what that... What you mean by that? I'm a little... I'm a little, uh... Not understanding. <laughs> so let's do this right here. This here. Artsology. I don't know why I'm not understanding what you're saying. I'm sure you're saying something really simple, but it's not making any sense. Add heat, add the heat and bond with the fabric between. Attach the fiber first and then cut to shape. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I was saying, like, I wish that I had a die cut that did that so that way I could make a little square of the fabric, the die, and the fabric tack, and the paper, and then cut it. I don't have a die cut, though. So this is. This is what I got to deal with. Um, but I don't know if my, I don't know if the punch. So I don't know if this punch right here would punch through that sandwich. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if this would punch that. That's my problem. I don't know about it dulling. I just don't know if it would actually punch through it. Because I was having a hard time with, uh, I was having a hard time punching the circles with that punch board. So I don't think it would work with that. So maybe the bigger one. Maybe the bigger one. Because I do have the bigger punch board also. Okay, so let's let this cool down. And then we have one more to do in this purple fabric. And then we are going to sew. And we're going to sew. Okay, so we're going to do one more envelope. Okay, let me make sure they're not talking about anything weird. Okay, fine. <laughs> But this should be on here. Okay. Okay. So this should be cooled down by now. Okay. So I found that sometimes when I think it didn't glue down... It's because I keep trying to, like, peel it up when it's hot. And, of course, the glue is, like, in its liquidy state. So, yeah, don't do that. Because <laughs> I'm like, why well, want it glue? Why want it glue? And it's because the glue is hot and I'm peeling it off. I mean, duh. <laughs> duh. Oh, 
<laughs> it probably would have been better if I did that. But look. Oh my god, you guys. Y'all were so right. That's what we gotta do. I guess these little pieces need to come off. Okay. Yep. Y'all were right. That's the way to do the shape. You back, boo boo? Where's your toy, boo boo? Go get your toy, boo boo. I don't have your toy. You gotta go get it. Perfect. Look. Like, it really is a piece of paper. Awesome. Why aren't you using your new scissors to cut the fabric? <laughs> because it's scraps. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm terrible. I didn't even use it to cut this piece out of the whole sheet. <laughs> I got to get used to it. I have, them in, I have them in here in their little pockets still. You're funny. <laughs> what are you crying for, Boo Boo? I don't have your toy. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. What's up, Boo Boo? I have so many nicknames for my cat, it's not even funny. Do you guys have a lot of nicknames for your pets? Because my cat has like 20 nicknames, literally. <laughs> he has like 20 nicknames. I come up with a new nickname for him like every day. Yeah, you do too. Crafty Witch, yes. At least I'm not alone. Oh, and I'm going to get your stuff out to you uh, tomorrow because I, I have to go to bed after this. But I'll get it out to you tomorrow. I did see your, your uh, response to my email. So his name is Ambu, which is A-M-B-U. And it's like the name of some anime character that my husband likes. It's like a cat character or something. It's a cat ninja. That's what it is. And I call him Boo Boo. And I also got him Boobalooboo, which is uh, the name of a chocolate bar that I love. Because <laughs> he's a black cat, so I name him Boobalooboo. And what else do I call him? Uh, he's also known as Lil Boy, so he's a Lil Boy. <laughs> Lil Fella. <laughs> and um, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, I also call him Jeffrey. I call him Jeffrey. That's another one of his nicknames. <laughs> okay, so we got all this cut out now. Okay, slow pace here. Slow pace wins the race here. Okay, so now I'm going to fold these, right? Let me actually get all this fabric stuff. I'm covered in fabric bits now. <laughs> now, I, now I understand the kids on Project Runway. And some of my dogs aren't even related to her real name. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, ah, that's hot. I call my dog Jeffrey. Like, how my, my dog, my, my cat, I call him Jeffrey because there was this one episode of King of the Hill where I think Peggy gets drunk and she's talking about her son, Bobby. Hello, cotton ding cooking mamas. I can't say your name, I'm sorry. Um, so in this show, the mom is telling somebody about how she wanted her name to name her son Jeffrey, but that her husband wouldn't let her. <laughs> so at the end of the episode, she's like, That's my boy, that's my Jeffrey. <laughs> And so that's why I called my cat Jeffrey, because I never got to give him a name. My my husband gave him a name. 
So I call him Jeffrey. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little weird nickname for a cat to be called Jeffrey as a nickname. <laughs> okay, let's grab that. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. This should actually be like this. So this is pretty much closed. Ooh. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> okay. So last one that we're gonna do here before we start sewing them up. So let's get again. We want the the he and bond. Hello, cat. Okay, cat. <laughs> okay, so the heat and bond, the shiny, gluey, bumpy part goes to where you want to put the glue. And then I sandwich it. You don't have to sandwich it, but I've been having better luck sandwiching it between these papers because I don't want glue on my heating mat. And if any glue comes off, then it comes off um, on the parchment paper. And not my actual. Now it also protects my heat, my iron, Lord, my iron as well. Okay, it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. <laughs> Nancy, you're funny. <clears throat> I'm learning about anime. My granddaughter's 10. It's definitely not all Sailor Moon like my kids' days. Nope. Nope. They got they got pretty intense with it. They might as well be like elaborate soap operas nowadays. <laughs> my husband's still into it. I used to be into it when I was a teenager, but <sighs> we're off on me, I guess. <laughs> I guess it kind of wore off. But my husband's still into it. Let's let me get the glue off of here. And let me get this off the glue. Like that. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. It happens. And I like, I mean, you guys give me good tips, so I will definitely put into consideration any tips and concerns y'all have about what I'm doing because I need all the help I can get. <laughs> so I will take into consideration any tips. What, boo boo? Come here. I do not want to put them near the iron, though. This is just making all that sound. Look up. Look up. <laughs> I was trying to get him to show his face. <laughs> his cute little face. <laughs> Girl, do you ever sleep? Oh my gosh. Yes, I do. I sleep a lot. <laughs> I just happen to go to sleep. I sleep from like, uh, say, 4 o'clock in the morning to about nine o'clock in the morning and then I get up and then I take a nap probably around three for about two hours. <laughs> so I get my hours, my about my six, seven, eight hours sleep every night. Just kind of broken up during the day. <laughs> if I have, if I want to work, like I got to work and then when it's sleep time, it's sleep time whenever that time comes. <laughs> I get that. So, I've gotten that so many times over the years. <laughs> You're definitely an enabler, Daisy. Just got my new scanning cut, my new printer you recommended. There you go. I'm glad you got all that stuff. You are on your way to some fun. That's for sure. That is full show. Let me get all this glue off of here. <laughs> That's your cat. Yeah, I have a black cat. He's so cute. He's the cutest. I usually put him at the end of my videos, but I keep making live videos instead of recorded videos. So 
That's probably why you haven't seen them. I need to do a recorded video. <laughs> probably my giveaway video will be recorded. Okay. And I should probably have that recorded video. I'm going to say by the weekend. That way if I get it done before, I look awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's get this glue off of here. Okay. 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 My mat is such a mess. Okay. So. Make sure there's no glue in here. Now, we are going to glue this to this. And where is my other parchment paper? Oh, I already threw it away. Okay, well, I need to get one more use out of this. <laughs> At least one more. iron on here. Let's see what I was saying. I am not crazy. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe a rotary cutter might be easier on the hands next time. Ah, with these five envelopes, it's not so bad, but maybe, yeah, next time with the rotary cutter and a piece of cardstock, it might be easier. I could see that working out. I could definitely see that working out. I'm trying to fray the edges just a tiny bit. Or at least get rid of these little hairs here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, thank you. If you guys don't follow Tiffany Solorio, you guys really do need to do that. She makes awesome uh, multimedia videos and she's on the design team for Primo and other brands. So you know she does awesome work. If you haven't followed Tiffy Solario, do so. She does awesome stuff. And sometimes she pops in. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I need Gatorade. One moment. Boo -boo. Oh, get it. Oh, you have it right here. Okay, okay, let's throw your toy. Okay, okay. Ready? Ready? You know where it's going. You know where it's going, boo-boo. Okay. Go get it, boo-boo. Go get your toy, boo-boo. He looks at me like, where's my toy? And then he'll go look for it. <laughs> oh, my God, something just, <laughs> something just fell. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's get this cut out. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Of course, Tiffy, you do awesome work. Okay, so now we gotta cut these out. Yeah, if I was going to do like 30 of these envelopes, then my hands would hurt. And I want to do 30 of these envelopes, but my hands would hurt. <laughs> so I got to also learn to restrain myself. It's hard, but yeah. <laughs> you really don't have to. Oh my gosh. You're trying to learn how to do what you do? Oh my goodness. Little old me, <laughs> just little old me. Okay, these look so good, you guys. I just gotta sew them and then and then glue them. <laughs> I could totally just glue them, but you know I can't. You know, I wish I could, but I cannot. Let's see. And today's episode is brought to you by Gatorade. Pepino Cucumber Lime Flavor. I'm just kidding. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored yet. For the, for the athlete scrapbooker. <laughs> 
The marathon scrapper girl needs to stay hydrated also. Nothing like cucumber lime, y'all. Oh, my God. Cucumber lime. Lime cucumber. It's the best. I, lo I like to actually make my own, like, fresh cucumber lime water, but this is good, too. Support gloves. No, I have not tried. Ah! And I just touched myself with my iron. I told y'all I didn't trust myself. Oh. I don't even know where. Okay. It was just the itch. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Now we're all done. I don't even see where I burn myself. It's not like red or nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm folding it off camera. Oh, right. I'm not going to fold it off camera because I'm just going to iron it. That's right. Because that's what the cool kids do. They iron everything. <laughs> there we go. Now this one goes in here as well. You jumped with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just touched me. Just like barely touched me because I try to put my drink away <laughs> right past it. I <laughs> uh, hope you have aloe vera. It works wonders. I do have aloe vera. I have a big aloe vera growing in my in my front yard. I don't. The thing is, that, okay. I see. I think I see where it touched me. I think it touched me right here because it has like kind of like a red line. Kind of. Yeah, I think that's where it touched me. <laughs> I should put some uh, mustard. <laughs> Go old school. And no naughty words. <laughs> I'm at work. No naughty words. <laughs> when I'm in work mode, I'm in work mode. <laughs> I'm very professional. <laughs> very professional. Let's iron this. Yeah, now it's it's more apparent. Now it's turning actually very light. I can see my skin change color though. <laughs> Break off a leaf and put the insides on your burn. It really works. I'll have to do that. Okay, so now that they're shut. <clears throat> now, let me clean off my desk here a little bit. Where's those clips? Oh, here they are. Okay. I'm going to put the little clips on there. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. I'm going to go look in my bathroom and see if I have anything because it's starting to kind of sting a little bit. <laughs> One moment. See what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, let me unplug it because I hate this iron now. <laughs> For today. <laughs> Bongo, you're so mean. Okay. I have... Calahist, which is Caladrill, and I believe Skin Irritations. <clears throat> I think this is good for that. <laughs> Let's see. It's a skin protectant. Use it with this hand, actually. Ugh. Okay, that feels good. That feels good. <laughs> that feels real good. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Let's get this iron away from me. <laughs> Far away from me now. Okay. Let's clean up my desk here a little bit. And we're going to get to sewing. Uh. 
That feels good. <laughs> that feels good. <laughs> I did, I couldn't see it, so I'm like, I think I just like felt it. I don't know if I got burnt, and then I started started going red. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, that that hurts. <laughs> You know me, I'm a mess, you guys. I'm a mess. <laughs> oh, no, I did it. I added glue. No. I had to use it that one more time. I just had to. Okay. Now, let's sew. Oh, I don't want to drop that pin. Gosh darn it, I just did. Okay. Let's get my sewing machine, and let's get the, right, I need it, I, actually I need to go, I gotta go get a man, <laughs> Madeline, <laughs> yeah, I know, aloe vera, I just don't want to go get it, I know, it this works too, <laughs> I am not in the mood to cut up aloe vera right now, I'm just not, I'd rather burn, I guess. <laughs> I never said I was the most responsible adult, okay? <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> we'll be good. We'll be good. I got the Calahist. It's a skin protectant. Itch relief. And it's it feels better. It feels so much better. You don't even know. Yeah, it definitely does not feel like it's burning anymore. Okay. So we're going to continue. Oh, somebody called 911. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I appreciate everybody's concerns, though. Okay. Let me see. I got to cut off this little piece here. Kind of getting in the way. Okay. So. Now, I have the black thread in there. And I'm going to do just like I was doing with my regular envelopes, which is going around kind of in a diamond shape and then in this diamond shape right here. So it's going to go good. <clears throat> let's do that. Um, let's go get... Did I turn this off? Oh, I think it came unplugged. Yep, it came unplugged. No, it didn't. Yep, it did. Yep. <laughs> Yes, it did. Okay, so let's get it at the longest length. Oh, I always show off my um, sewing machine. This is the Brothers Project Runway Limited Edition CE1125 PRW sewing machine. And we are going to be sewing on here. And let me get my little foot. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get this sewn up. Okay, stop and turn. And then turn it this way. Let's see. Let it go. Okay. Okay, right there. Whoa, 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 I'm going so fast. Right and then we'll do a back stitch because it is fabric. Okay. <laughs> you are, you are. <laughs> It feels better. It does. That really cooled it down. <laughs> I'm like, no, this is starting to sting. I should probably do something. <laughs> but we're all good. We're all good. It doesn't sting anymore. Okay, over here. And then over here. Oop, I went one step too far. One step too far. <laughs> I 
Nah, that's why I love y'all. Because I need all the help I can get. I'm telling you, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I mean, that's not just my slogan. I mean, that's real. <laughs> that's real life. <laughs> it's not just my motto. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit of back stitching. I burn the heck out of my arm once using the hot glue while making a wedding present. I still have the scar on my arm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the envelope, and I have it all nice and stitched up the way I want. And you know, I think I'm still going to do what I what I did to my paper envelopes, which was to do a nice little fancy stitch right here, just because I got to be extra. So let's do that fancy stitch, and I think I'm going to do that little loop-de-loop, -loop, which is number 75 on here, and I'm going to use the length of 2.5. Here we go. Whoops. I thought I was heading, had it at the right angle. Sorry. Okay. Good night, cat. Congratulations on your new grandson. That's so cool. Okay. So now that we have it like this, now we have it all nice and sewed up the way I would really want it to be. And so now we can glue it. And we're going to need those clips again. I just know it. So I have this glue here. And what I'm using is called, where is my... I had this one, I had this pin I was using to unclog my bottle. Where is it? Where's another one? Oh my goodness, no, no, not today. Okay, yes, it should be fine. Now the glue I'm using here is called, the glue that's inside this bottle is called, um, where is it? Here it is. It is Turbo Tacky Glow by Eileen's. And I really, really like to use it with this nice little bottle because it really gets the glue in a nice thin line. And it does do a strong hold with just even this little bit of glue, it does do a strong hold. That really does stick. So I'm just putting that around this edge right here. And I'm doing this so that the glue doesn't seep. Okay, and like that. And then, I don't know where my other clips went, but I will clip it. So that it knows to stay closed. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so now moving on to the next one. My kids are taking their sweet time settling down. I am learning patience. By the way, I suck at patience. <laughs> Props to you. Props to you. Okay. So here we go. Oops. I brought my whole board with me. <laughs> Okay, let's get to the sew in here. Again, we're gonna do the diamond shape and then the other diamond shape. It's gonna look pretty. Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want the straight stitch, whoops. The longest possible. I always go so slow with the straight stitch, but that's just how it is. And then this way. And then 
do a back stitch. Okay. And now I'll do it this way. I gotta concentrate when I do a straight stitch. I'll look at those chat in one moment. I kind of gotta like look above the camera. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what everybody's saying. Laura says, my son is 28. He is proposing to his girlfriend in April, and my daughter's 26. Can't keep a relationship more than a couple months, so I have a wait ahead of me. <laughs> and Tiffy says, I have had baby fever lately, but we are done having kids. I can't think of my kids having kids yet. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you have to wait a while for that one, Tiffy. Or watch out. I don't know. I, ha I have a cousin that had a kid at 14. I'm just saying watch out. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That was crazy. Because I'm 30 and I don't want a kid. <laughs> I'm just like, what are you doing, kid? <laughs> you crazy. I'll be 50 this year. My factory is closed. <laughs> I've had baby fever, fever since I was a teenager. It's been three years, and my boyfriend hasn't proposed, so going to be a little bit. <laughs> I don't want kids myself. I'm not. I'm not. I like kids, like, if they're my family, you know what I mean? I can tolerate them then. <laughs> but I am just not good with children. I'm really just not. Let's see. Okay, I need clips. And I need another clip. Where's the other clips? I know I have more than this clip on here. Okay, they're over here. Uh. Oh my gosh, Richard. <laughs> yeah, he really loves me. Why are you lying? That boy don't like me. That boy didn't want me to that boy didn't want me invited to his birthday party. Don't think I'm gonna forget that. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Tell that boy I'll never forget that. <laughs> I remember that boy saying, no, I don't. You said, do you want her to be at your party? That boy said, no. <laughs> Straight up said, nah. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. Respect. I mean, I respect that he's, you know. Saying it like it is. <laughs> that boy did not like me. <laughs> oh, Nancy, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. <sighs> Sad things happen sometimes. It's never, it's never an easy thing. Does your husband want kids, Daisy? No, we both talked about it when we dated. And when we got together, I was very young. I was 17. And we got married when I was 19. And he said that, we both said we didn't want kids. But then he said that if when I turned 30... Now, when he turned 30, so I was 25, that when he turned 30, he was going to ask me if I wanted kids. And then we'd go from there. But the time came and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, I got, I got too much stuff to do. I'm not responsible enough for a child. I'm like, nah, I just, nah, I just rather not just me. I'm really just not responsible at all. 
but he secretly does now. No, nah, he's good. And we're just not the parent types. We're just not responsible enough. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm barely responsible enough for myself, let alone another human being. I'm just not. <laughs> it happens, always happens when you least expect it. Some kids, some people have kids and they don't take care of them. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't want to have kids because I don't feel responsible enough for that. Like, I really don't. My cat, my cat is all I can handle. <laughs> He's been pretty much like a child ever since I got him. Pretty much, I've been babying him ever since day one. <laughs> there we go. Here. And my sister has a, a daughter and a son, so... I have my nephews and my niece to spoil, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Nancy. I think so too. <laughs> I think that's I think that's the most responsible thing I'll ever decide as an adult. <laughs> it's just I'm not. I'm just not there. I like my naps too much. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I like naps. So to me, like, my sister is, like, five years younger than me. But I don't know. In my eyes, she's a grown-up. She has kids. That's the most grown-up thing you could possibly do. So I feel like a child compared to her and her years of experience and what she's had to go through. And you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a child compared to her because I've been pretty much living the same life I have now as I did when I was 18. <laughs> and she had to be responsible and everything. So props to all the moms out there. Honestly, I couldn't do it. So major props. <laughs> major, major props. You have four children, now you have ten grandchildren. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That is awesome. And let's get... Oh, I still have to do the decorative part. Stop moving the plate. <laughs> I guess I didn't take down my mat as good as I should have. Okay, so let's do the decorative stitch. And let's do number 27 for this one. Which is kind of like a star design. We'll make it the longest and the widest possible. Oh no, don't worry about Richard. He just comes and goes. He's he's, my, he's literally he's my best friend's husband. <laughs> and uh, his husband is my best friend from college. So, and they live in the little trailer park here that I live in, and he's always watching my videos. He's so funny. He's a nice friend. They're, they're both nice friends that I'm lucky to have. <laughs> my son just turned 12, so far, pretty easy. My niece is 13, and oh my god, I can't even handle being around her sometimes. Yes, girl, they're annoying from the age of 13 till they're 27. <laughs> I can't stand young adults. <laughs> and they're know-it-all personalities because I thought I knew it all too. <laughs> I think that's why they get on my nerves. He's silly. He just likes to say things to throw me off. I'm like, you know what? I don't do that to you at work, but I kind of do. <laughs> when I go see him at work, I always bug him too. <laughs> oh my god, he's he's a real life troll that I know, and he's a, he's a troll that I trust though. I'm just kidding. Kick him out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't. <laughs> 
What's up, Boo Boo? You brought your toy, Boo Boo? Huh, Boo Boo? You brought your toy, Boo Boo? Oh my goodness, such a good boy, Boo Boo. <laughs> that cat. Oh, girls are the worst. My son is so easygoing. My son is so easygoing. But my daughter is seven and she's like a teenager. Oh my goodness. And it starts, huh? And it starts. I don't know. I think it's like almost illegal to be a teenager and like your parents. I don't, I think that's against the law or something. <laughs> Cause, oh my goodness. <laughs> They're tough. They're tough. Gonna hit the sack night, you guys. Make certain Daisy doesn't break or hurt herself again. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay, Boo Boo, I'll throw your toy. Okay, oh my goodness. Ready? 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 I'll throw your toy, Boo Boo. Go get it. That boy is so funny, I can't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Curls are harder. I couldn't stand my daughter for a while, but I oh, trust me, I I annoyed myself thinking back how annoying I was to my mother. Oh my god, I was such a brat, so dramatic. I just <sighs> I told my mom that joke today. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, it's this meme, and it says, I told my mom she was in, to stop invading my privacy. Okay, okay, so the meme, yeah, the meme says, I told my mom to stop invading my privacy, and she told me she came, I came out of her privacy. <laughs> I told that to my mom, my mom cracked up. My mom cracked up. She's like, well, it's true, you know. <laughs> I cracked up. She was like, oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> there you go, Tiffany. There you go. You can use that one on your kids. <laughs> I was so annoying as a teenager. Oh my god, I was so annoying. And um, I'm telling you, I like annoy myself thinking about how annoying I was as a teenager. It starts about fifth grade and ends about twenties. I'm telling you. No, I was annoying till I was like 25. And like now my mom's my favorite. My mom's like my best friend. But <laughs> me at 15, no, we were not friends. But you'll get there eventually. <laughs> my son is the same. Kelly, he is sweetest kids. Oh, so hard. That's hard. It's also why I can't have kids. I can't have so many problems. I don't think I can handle myself. <laughs> I'm such a crybaby. I would cry to everything. What, boo-boo? This way. And my brother's still in that age where he's like, I know everything, so I <sighs> just gotta nod my head and be like, Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> I thought so too, kid. <laughs> Thank you, Artsology. You back, boo boo? You back, boo boo? Boo boo. I love you, boo boo. I love you, boo boo, boo boo. You love me, boo boo? <laughs> okay, let's do the stars again. So I'm going to do number 27 the widest and the longest possible. Is 
because I'm not making the star. I don't think it's making the design correctly. And then I'm looking at it. Oh, well. It's the last envelope. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. Oh, I missed a couple of them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so this was the last of the envelopes. I need to glue it together. So we gotta glue this one. And I'm gonna leave these uh, clipped on overnight so I they glue. The glue dries nicely. Let's get the glue down here. And I do want to thank you guys for being here with me. Um, again, thank you guys for subscribing. I'm excited about having to reach 6,000 subscribers. And I'll be doing a giveaway video uh, this weekend. So do look forward to that. We'll be doing some awesome, awesome giveaways. And yeah. So here we go. We're going to clip this on here so that way it does close. Probably could have ironed it. <laughs> Okay, let me see if the earlier one I did was, is done. Okay, so this is what we did today. We got these little envelopes. I'll still have to glue some stuff down here. But we're all done for today's life. Whoops, I touched the camera. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try and go to sleep now. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining my live. I'll be here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be making something else. I don't know what exactly, but it'll be something else. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Have a good night, everybody.